This set just makes me want to go. Welcome aboard. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Hey guys, me, Ho Supersonal. Thank you very much for tuning in. The Kraken! Possibly my favorite item in the whole box. It's the Cantina Showdown from Star Wars Black Series, a part of the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm. And this is in the Power of the Force box. It's a shame I'm not an inbox collector. If you are an inbox collector, I am sorry for what I'm about to do. This is coming out of the packaging. It looks absolutely awesome, and we've finally got Black Series versions of Dr. Ev uh, Evanzan, Pondabara, and of course a brand new Obi-Wan Kenobi as well. This is awesome. I need to dig out my Luke farm boy. Uh, oh, he's in the little. He's in the. He's in the. He's in the. He's in the. Land speeder behind me. And obviously C three PO R two D two. I know they didn't come. They're not allowed in. <laughs> and of course we need Greedo and Han Solo. Oh, I can make a really cool bar scene. Very excited. So without further ado, guys, let's break this thing out of the packaging. The only thing that would have made this better for me is if they had made it electronic and made it make noise and made it actually go do, 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 do. I hope they make more of these sets. I hope this isn't the first, like the only one they make. I hope they make another one which gives us the old because like there was the old set which had Han Solo and Greedo which goes for silly amounts of money now. I hope they remake that set for us and as well I hope they give us the finally give us the cantina band and the stage to stand them on because that would be sick as well. I hope this is the start of like small buildable play sets for Black Series. Because that would be cool. Vintage gets all the cool play sets. Us Black Series fans need some as well. Alright. Oh my god, there's a lot of rope ties and things on this. Ooh, we might be here a while. Okay, so. I don't want to break this either. Let's go for rope ties first. One rope tie. Two rope tie. Three rope ties. So that should be the figures released. Oh no, there's more rope ties on the top. Oh my god. Right, okay. We're going to be here a while. Right, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here and I'll get this out of the packaging and we'll take a close look in just a moment. Right, okay, we've built it. They are definitely giving us more to this set. This is not the end of this set. So I think I'm right when I'm saying they're going to be able to build more because the bar is only a quarter complete. There is more components to add to this. So in this set, they give us this corner section of the bar. And as you can see here at the end, more things will slot onto here and more things will slot onto here. If they weren't planning on giving us the rest of the bar set, then this would be sanded off. This wouldn't look like this. This is because that is going to clip to something else at a later date. Likewise, the back of the bar is just this piece at the moment and it has all these little bits on the back to slot things in. And we haven't yet added all the things to the actual slots. There are holes available for future things to attach to. So for me, it looks like we're gonna get another another one that's gonna slot onto the back of there and another one of these to create the other corner. So we are definitely getting more to this bar set than currently meets the eye. That's the Transformers tagline. <laughs> But the figures themselves are awesome as well. Of course, I'm going to have a quick look at Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm not going to spend too long on him just because we've had this figure. This is the third time now we've got this Obi-Wan, I think. Uh, we have the 50th anniversary version, which had the you know the different colours and stuff. Um, that one came with the new head, which everyone stole to put on the old one. Finally, we've got an updated version of him with the new face sculpt. So there he is with, the, with a really cool Alec McGuinness face sculpt. Looking really nice, actually, on there. But yeah, I'm not going to talk too long about it just because we've had it so many times now. But yeah, it's nice to it's nice to see another Ben Kenobi, and they've actually changed the color of this. I think I think these robes are different colors now. They look a bit more sandier, a little bit more like worn. And of course, they gave us his lightsaber yet again. It's the same issued lightsaber we've had several times now for him. Let's look at the new figures. So <laughs> look at that! Doesn't that just capture the likeness so well, including the eye and everything? Looks awesome. He's got his blaster in his uh, holster right now. Uh, there is a little rope tie holding that in, which I'm just going to quickly pop off. Let's get rid of that. And there's his blaster. Looking very cool. Yeah, 
just pop that back into the holster. Oh god, was there a reason why they didn't want us to remove that bit of plastic? No. Or am I popping that in backwards? I think I'm putting that in backwards. There we go. Yes, I was putting it in the wrong way. The gun goes in that way, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, articulation-wise, these figures are very nice. The head is on a ball of joints. You can make them look up, down, left, and right with a little wobble there. You can lift the arm up to the side and also rotate. Single hinged elbows that pull in slightly. And hands are on ball joints. His arms are very thin on that particular figure. Um, I love the little waistcoat jacket they've gave him and the belt sort of attaches to that. Um, there is a little bit of an abdomen crunch. Because of that belt piece, it does really stop that abdomen crunch from being able to be used. The legs do lift out, but not too far, as well as forwards, backwards, top thigh cut, double hinged knees. Uh, no boot cut on this one, but the feet are on rocker and pivot, and you can use display pegs. Sorry, he has display pegs, should you wish to use a display base. I'm really loving that face sculpt, though. That really does capture the likeness of him so well. Come on, camera. That captures that likeness so well. And then, and then of course, we've got our armless friend here. Let's take off the little rope ties and things that are attaching to him right now. There's so much plastic on this figure, it's insane. The amount of rope ties I had to remove was just nuts. So there is Papa Boba with the uh, gun and stuff, looking very nice. Again, nice face sculpt on there as well. He's got a clip on his holster, which if we just remove the clip and lift that up, I can pop the gun in, hopefully. Yeah. And then will that clip reach back down, though? No, it won't. Does his gun go in backwards as well? Does his gun go that way? It can't do. No, his gun only goes in one way. So the, is it going to go around that way? There's no real way to get, once you've clipped the thing in, there's no real way to get the, the, the clip to go back on the gun holster without stretching the plastic. It just doesn't go in. You have to really pull on the plastic, which I don't like doing because then I'm manipulating the plastic and that means it'll stretch. And even when you can get it in, the gun's in the way, so it kind of pops back off again. You have to do it like that. I'm not sure if you meant to put it through one of the little loops on the gun, but either way, it looks ridiculous. So I might end up snipping that bit of plastic off and just having an open holster, because it looks ridiculous. Power as well has got some great articulation. His head can look up and down, more down than up. The back of the hairpiece does stop him from looking up. There is, you can lift up the arms there, also rotate, single hinged elbows, hands are on ball joints. Uh, can he use the abdomen crunch? Not really. He's got a little bit of a swivel there. This is basically Han Solo's body, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't this the Han Solo mold that we used here? Um, waist swivel though, you can crunch him left and right on the swivel, which is nice. Legs lift outwards as well as forwards, backwards. There is the top thigh cut there as well, double hinge knees, no boot cut. But the feet are on rocker and pivot, and again, display hole pegs, should you wish to use a display base. Right guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on down to the desk cam to give you guys an up close personal look at this figure. You can also, by the way, remove his hands and add, whoop! You can also remove his hands and add these little pieces as well. I'm not a massive fan of these, I won't be using them, I don't think. But yeah, you can add them on as well if you wanted to. Right guys, let's head on down to the desk cam to give you guys an up close personal look at this awesome playset. So let's head on down to the desk cam. So I have brought back out the diorama piece. It doesn't really go with what I'm about to do, but it gives you an idea. So there's the back piece of the um, cantina. And then here is the first of the bar pieces. Again, I say first because definitely they're giving us more to attach onto these. So yes, this playset is very cool. I do really like the way they've made it. It is very well put together. And again, they're definitely going to give us more. There's no, no nothing to show other than that. So they, get, they did give us some little cups and things to add on to the bar top, which is nice. We've got one mug there. We've got another one here. I think that's another mug anyway. Another one there. I'm going to pop the third one over here. And then, of course, we can stand our new figures at the bar. 
I am going to try and make a new diorama piece to go with these until the whole bar has been complete. If I lift that arm up a little bit, lean him. I'm trying to make it so he's leaning on the bar a little bit. There we go. His arm's not quite flat enough, I don't think. Ugh. There we go. And then, of course, we've got our Papa Boba as well. This is just making me laugh because it's reminding me of Robot Chicken far too much. <laughs> he says where <laughs> he says you better watch yourself. <laughs> we're wanted men. So yeah, very cool. It's very cool to have all these figures. Like I said, it's gonna be cool once we've got Luke Farmboy on there as well. That's gonna be very awesome. But yeah, it's a very cool playset. And these new figures are amazing. I'm loving the two new figures. Obviously, we've had we've we've had Obi Wan so many times before. But the two new figures are the best, definitely. They are awesome. Well worth picking up. If you're a big fan of Star Wars, I think this set will appeal, um, definitely. And if, I mean, if you're a fan of the of a New Hope and, you know, Power of the Force and things like that, this is definitely going to be a set you're going to want to get. A lot of people probably won't even open this set because of the box. Um, so, very cool little play set. I'm very happy to have it. And yeah, I can't wait to do some action figure photography with these guys. This is an awesome place at. But guys, what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, then please hit that like and subscribe button. But let's head on back to the main cam now and finish off this video. So guys, what are your thoughts on this awesome playset? It's awesome, right? Are you going to be grabbing this for yourself? Let us know in the comments down below. If you're enjoying this review today, then please be sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out and helps us to keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, may the force be with you. Bye! Sorry, Bob, I'm still getting used to my programming. We do hey. hope you enjoyed your total hey. and will come back soon.